we're at the final round of the ELMS series 2021 at the Autodromo de Algarve, Port de Mau. We hit the ground running really well in Barcelona and the car was pretty good, but we still had a lot of work to do. Um, we could tell that our competition, in this case the ultimate car, was a very fast. Uh, and we could see it throughout the timing and then we could definitely see it through the race. Uh, we didn't have the car to really compete with them and they won the race, but we were able to dig and, and get second in that race. So that was a good result for us and a good result for the first, first time out. I've always loved Red Bull Ring. I look at it like a bullfight. It's a relatively small track. A highlight of my racing career. Um, I mean, and honestly, you know, I'm not sure I could have done the start much differently, but out of turn one, you know, I went wide and took the exit road and came out in the lead. And the best part was I was in the lead for about 20 minutes before either one of the United cars could get past me. And there were some, you know, extremely strong pros behind me. Uh, I knew if they got close, you know, I probably wouldn't get in their way and they'd be able to get by me, but they didn't get close. Uh, safety car come out relatively quickly, so that bunched up the field. Uh, we had the restart, I was able to pull away again, and then unfortunately, the uh, four cars that went around the outside, I was the one that got a penalty. Apparently too egregious, the old bronze man taking the lead of the race. Um, and they gave us a drive-through penalty, which basically put us to the back of the field. The race was an open. The skies opened up, the rain came down, all hell broke loose. Cars were flying off the track left and right. We were able to keep it together, go with the right tire strategy, and ultimately, we ended up winning that race and we got third overall. Uh, we're Circuit de Paul Ricard in the south of France for uh, round three of the European Le Mans series. test we had a great run uh, the car was good you know wanted to do my best and and go p1 and and we were able to get that done Roberto Murray uh, qualified the car for us there was a red flag early on we waited to leave the box so we didn't get a lap before then and then we basically got two laps but both were deleted due to track limits so tomorrow we're gonna start from the very back of the grid The 5G drive car comes home in second. The Pro Am winners in LMP2. Victory in Pro Am for a delighted number 25 G drive team. John Falp, Rui Andrade, and Roberto Mary on the top step of the podium. Nobody's making it easy for us, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it was an exciting race. I mean, we started P14, it was a rough deal. I got shoved off track, had a spin, but we just kept pounding it out. And the strategy worked and we worked hard and yeah, on top. On top indeed, John Falp, Rui Andrade and Roberto Mary. In second, Sally Jolic, Charlie Eastwood and Logan Sargent. And in third place, Francois Herriot with Mathieu and Jean-Baptiste Lae.
G-Drive increase their lead over Racing Team Turkey with Ultimate remaining in third place and Cool in fourth. For me, Le Mans is such a special place because I think the history, um, you know, the impressions it made on me in my youth, but more importantly, the spirit of Le Mans is very real. The track is like no other. There are no, there's no track in the world where you have the consistent speeds uh, and cornering speeds as you do at Le Mans. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the best race in the world. I think Roberto's going to take the start, um, try and make up for what he didn't do in qualifying. Yeah, we give him a hard time, but um, he, you know he can do a mega start, make up some positions. So much experience, it'll be good to have him behind the wheel. Then I'll probably go second, and we'll have Rui follow up, and that will probably be our rotation for the most part until the next day. <laughs> finish we win but it's not very much fun not going for the win
congratulations, we finished the race. So we are behind, we are behind overall P2 in Pro Am and we just won the Pro Am Championship. Woo! Good job, boys! None of us could do it without my wife. Um, she is she is the bedrock of our family, and uh, and and definitely the dream maker. Yes, she is.